Hello, my name is Steve Mills, and this video is about how to produce a blog that converts. A lot of people spend a lot of time blogging. You know, we've got full-time professional bloggers out there who would allegedly make millions and millions of pounds by blogging. Um, I'm not talking about that type of uh, situation, but what I'm talking about is really how to use a blog to create business um, if you run a business. That's really the area that I'm focusing on today. So let's say that you're doing a regular blog post, you know, once a week or maybe a couple of times a week, you're going on to your website and you're producing a blog post. And if you're like most of businesses, that's where it ends. You don't really do very much in terms of marketing that post. It's on your website and people are welcome to have a look at it, but you know, you're not really doing very much. And uh, the truth of the matter there is uh, you just need to examine your own behavior. When was the last time you sought out, um, let's say, a product and, or service? You know, let's say, for example, I'm looking for a, a, a new accountant and I go onto their website and I think, I know, I'll go and have a look at their blog. It may happen, but often it doesn't. So the, the first problem we've got to overcome in terms of getting our blog to convert, when I say convert, I want to be clear, I'm talking about winning business as a result of it, um, is traffic. We've got to get traffic to it. So if we've got a blog on our website, we're going to then say, right, how are we going to get loads of people to go and have a look at this uh, this uh, blog post? Because it's a it's an interesting blog post. I really hope you find this uh, blog post interesting. You know, I've added a video to it to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, and so the first step is traffic. So if it's traffic, then where are you going to get traffic from? Well, again, there's loads of different options opportunities. There's LinkedIn. You could go on to LinkedIn and post information. You could go and send people messages. You could go and post it into groups uh, and so on and so forth. So what I'm talking about here is creating a little link. I might do uh, with this with this video, for example, you might have found this by looking on LinkedIn and seeing uh, a post that says, I've just produced a new video. It's all about how to uh, uh, get your blog post to convert. If you want to have a look at it, go here. And I'll send you to, uh, I might send you to my YouTube channel, uh, but more than likely, I'll send you to my blog post on my website, uh, because that's where I really deep down, I want you to go. So if I can do that on LinkedIn, uh, what could I do on Facebook? Well, I could do exactly the same. So I can do the same thing on Facebook. Now, think about where that ends. Well, you know, we've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, we've got TikTok. We, you know, we've got a lot of people and a lot of places we can uh, communicate uh, this message. Always saying, uh, go here and do that. In other words, go to my website and look at the blog. That's what we want people to do. Now, other ways are things like email. People tell me email is dead, and that's generally people who don't do emails. Email marketing is alive and well and, and working fantastically well. We win a significant amount of our business from email marketing. That's why you know, I'm, I'm marketing two, three times a week at least. Um, when I uh, look at what some of the top world class marketers are doing, um, you know, sometimes it's two or three a day. Now, they wouldn't be doing that if they weren't winning any business. So um, we need to think about that and what you're doing. Uh, I'm sure it's not working if you're doing a quarterly newsletter. That probably is not, well, not probably, almost certainly is not uh, working. So use email to drive traffic. We could then uh, look at some of the paid uh, ways we can do that. We could we could create a video on YouTube and tell people to go to your website in order to list to read your blog post. We could do uh, an advert on LinkedIn. 
we could do a remarketing campaign on Facebook or an advertising on Facebook or Google or any of the other search engines. So there's loads of ways of getting traffic. So let's just assume that we're now getting traffic. We're getting, say, 100 people every day to this website or, sorry, to this blog post. Uh, we've still got the problem of... Uh, conversion. We've got the traffic, we've just not got the conversion. Now, what most people do when they're writing a blog post is they write something of interest for people. And then maybe at the end, they say, if you want to know more, uh, email me here or phone me on this telephone number or, you know, click this link and go and sign up to a uh, you know, fill out a, a, a diary request or, a, you know, apply here type button, you know, that type of thing. And, and all that's good. Don't get me wrong. All that's good. However, how can we make it better? How can we improve the conversion rate? Well, it, it all for me starts with the, the headline. There's an old saying in advertising that the headline is the advert for the advert. And that's now true in terms of blog. The headline is the advert for the blog. Not only that, but if you have a headline that is searched on Google, uh, often you can find your blog post being very highly rated on Google, whereas your website perhaps isn't. So I'll give you an example. Um, if I produced a blog post called, uh, where can I find good business advice in Portsmouth, right? So it's a reasonably easy opportunity in terms of search engine optimization. You know, it's not people all over the world. Where can I find good business advice? is difficult. Where can I find good business advice in Portsmouth is much easier. Now, if you were in, bi in business and you wanted to find some uh, business advice in Portsmouth, what would you type into Google? You might type in business, like, business advice Portsmouth and my blog might come up, but more than likely you might type in where can I find business advice in Portsmouth and my blog would almost certainly be number one on Google. So that's a really good tip. Um, so other things you can do, if you think about what you want, what do you want? You want them to read your blog, but you want them to do something as a result of reading your blog. So you might say either at the top or in the middle or at the bottom or in all three places, uh, you know, click here. You might say click here to sign up for a meeting. You know, if you go to my website, you'll see lots of gold buttons. In those gold buttons, it says, are you ready for results? If you click on one of those gold buttons, it takes you straight to my diary and you can book an online meeting with me. You know, there's no waiting for me to get back to you or anything like that. That automatically then goes straight into my diary. It goes straight into your diary, assuming you've not got a paper one. Uh, but if you've got, a, a you know, a, well, any diary, a Google diary or, a, you know, any other diary, it, it should uh, in theory, link to that diary. So, um, and it'll certainly send you reminders by email uh, and all that's done automatically. So that's really good. Another good idea would be to give something away. Um, so you've got a blog post, you've got some interesting content, but maybe again, not necessarily at the bottom. I don't like the bottom that much because not everybody reads it. Yeah, maybe after the first couple of paragraphs, you might say something like, Oh, by the way, uh, if you are interested in attending my webinar, right, click this link. You with me? OK. Or you might go, oh, by the way, if you want to download a free report about this, then click this link. OK, so we're giving something away, whether it's a webinar, it could be a video or a video series like six, you know, get, get my six day um, free um, video program for how to use YouTube to grow your business. And I give that six videos away, just simple little videos like this one, six of them. Uh, they get one video sent every day. 
uh, uh, in exchange for their contact details. What do I do? I follow them up with email. I follow them up by phone, make sure they've watched the videos and maybe ask them some questions. And maybe, just maybe, a percentage of them I'm going to turn into a client. And, uh, and that's what this is all about. So you've got lots of things to do there. Do your blog, yeah. Write it so that there's, you know, some good information in there. Make it valuable. Add a video. You could, you could write the blog and then add a video saying the same thing because some people might want to read it. Others might want to watch it. Uh, to get me to read your blog, you know, probably not going to do it. Certainly one with as much text in as I've delivered on this video. I'm just not going to do it. I won't have time um, and I'll be too busy. But I might watch this video, even though it's, what, it's about six, seven minutes, something like that. Um, and uh, that's what you need to think about. So uh, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I hope it helps you. I really do. Uh, I'd love to help you further. If you'd like to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, then please do that. If you want to sign up to my emails, I'd strongly recommend you do that. I provide you with lots of tips and ideas and ways in which you can grow your business. I send you links to videos like this and other. And, uh, you know, I just basically spend a lot of time helping people for free in order to demonstrate my expertise. That's what I do. Uh, I find that's the best way of marketing myself is to show that I really know my stuff. And if I do, some people will want more help. That's that's the whole of my marketing philosophy. So uh, that's it. If you're watching this on YouTube, by the way, my website is steve-mills.com. Um, if you're watching it on my website, uh, then use one of the buttons below because there will be buttons. I practice what I preach saying, uh, you know, click here and go and book a meeting with Steve. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much for listening.